I have no idea how to start this video. <laughs> hey guys, so today I'm gonna be showing all of you how I do my makeup. And this is all just my own products. None of it's like really expensive. It's all kind of like drugstore makeup. I guess you could call this like a drugstore makeup tutorial. I don't really know. You guys call it whatever you want to. But yeah, so I'm just gonna put on a headband or something and then we will jump right into this video. Okay, I know I look crazy, but don't judge me. I just don't wanna get, ah oh, shit, my hair's coming out of it. Don't judge me. <laughs> I'm just like you guys, I have no idea what I'm doing. Okay, so first things first, I'm gonna start off with my primer, obviously. Just e.l.f. Mineral, Mineral Infused. That's one of my favorite primers, honestly. You can get this at Target. It's really not that expensive, like, at all. Like, it's really, like, I think this is one of my favorite primers, and it's really cheap. So I'm just gonna start off with, like, maybe one pump of that. It looks pretty good in me. And then just apply it everywhere doesn't really matter how you do it. I know, I know, I apply makeup like a five-year-old with my fingers. I should be using a brush, but that's okay because we don't always do the right thing in this life, and that's okay. Just get yourself makeup that doesn't judge you. Oh, I don't know if it's like, no, I need a little bit more. Just a little bit more. Okay, maybe like, a pump and like a sixteenth of a pump, okay? Now it's all over my hands. And we can just wipe away our sins. Okay, now the primer's out of the way. I am going to be moving on to my foundation. This foundation is the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte in shade 105. This is, it's like a little bit darker than my skin tone. I don't know. But I'm just gonna wipe off the tip a little bit really quick because there's makeup all over it and I hate that. But anyways, yeah. It's a little bit darker than my skin tone. I don't know if you guys will be able to see that, but I can see it. I apply my makeup kind of like a five-year-old, like I already said. So please just ignore that. Before I blend this, actually, you know what would be a good idea before I finish applying this that I just realized I should do? is I have a lot of like red spots on my face, not like full on acne, but just red spots. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my NYX HD Studio Photogenic Green Concealer. This shit is so great. Actually, on one of my friends, she had a really bad hickey on her neck. So I fixed that with this shit. This shit is like, I swear by this concealer. So I'm just gonna take it, apply it to my red spots because like green will cancel out red, red will cancel out blues or greens, any kind of weird discoloration, just cover it up with the opposite color. It's not that hard. And then just pat it on, it will have a little bit of a green tint. So you cover up that green tint with the foundation, it just kind of cancels itself out. And yeah, so now we'll continue with the foundation. I'll dot a little bit where the green concealer is. So my mirror is over here if I'm like looking weird, sorry. And yeah, just little dots everywhere. And a little bit on the neck, we can't forget the neck because a lot of people I see have that line across it. We don't want that. We put a little bit on our neck, we're gonna blend it in. And now I'm gonna take my beauty blender and I'm gonna blend this all in and I will be right back. Okay, now that we got foundation out of the way, I'm gonna move on to one of my favorites, um, eyebrows. So I use, a lot of people like to use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Pomade, but I use NYX Tame and Frame Tinted Brow Pomade. I love this stuff, it works so well. And a lot of people ask me on my Instagram, what do you use for your eyebrows, blah, blah, blah. So this is what I use. I use NYX Tame and Frame Tinted Brow Pomade. I'm not really sure what the actual color this is. I know it's like the darkest, one of the darkest browns because I have really dark eyebrows. So for the eyebrow, I'm also using my e.l.f. angled brush and spoolie. I don't 
these don't have like a number on the brushes like the morphe brushes but they are really really nice i do love my cheaper makeup so what we're gonna do for the eyebrow is we're gonna start kind of like we're gonna start at the center and we're gonna just underline it at first so let's start right about here and then we're gonna outline the brow and then after we outline the brow i know it looks terrible at first it's not done don't judge me this is how we start we make sins we make mistakes everybody makes mistakes and after that we're gonna outline the top of the brow we're not gonna start at the like center because so many people do that and it just it makes your eyebrows look so bad just a squared off eyebrow is not okay we're gonna have that kind of ombre effect in the middle so to do that we're gonna start right about here and we're going to brush outward and then you're gonna blend it with the same brush you're gonna use all of that product darken the back of the eyebrow and then without dipping it back in you're gonna kind of brush upward in the center of the brow and now we're gonna take the spoolie end and I know this sounds a little crazy but we're going to blend all of this with the spoolie end and just brush out the eyebrow and it is a really nice pomade we're just gonna do that just gonna dip it just like a little tiny tiny bit and we're just gonna kind of run through it one more time just filling in the center yada 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 nothing crazy like and you do not you do not need a ton of this product it is very very pigmented you really do not need a ton i just didn't fill it in enough like the right way so that's why i kind of keep dipping it back in but you really don't need a lot of this just keep blending keep spreading it out like you will be fine I promise. And yeah, and we're gonna blend it one more time. And I will say this now, concealer is a charm. I love concealer. And I'm gonna show you what I'm doing that afterwards. So again, on this eyebrow, we're just gonna do the same thing. We're gonna underline, just like that, through the brow. So you can literally make as many mistakes as you want because what I'm gonna show you is my, I dropped the pomade. And then I'm gonna show you my little trick with concealer. It's actually kind of well known, so it's not really my trick, but yeah. And then again, we're gonna start not on the center, but kind of like right here. And then we're gonna take our spool and towards the center blend up and then blend out back and this kind of brushes out your like brows too get the hairs all nice and colored tinted blah 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 so i know i look kind of crazy they're not done bear with me i'm going to take my elf concealer in the shade light and I do get a lot of concealer, like way more than I need on the end of this little like spongy tampon thing, whatever. So I'm just gonna kind of go and sculpt out the brow with concealer. I do this because I am so fucking messy with my brows. So yeah, this is just kind of if you're really fucking messy. And it also just cleans up the brow really nicely and it gives you like a really nice finish on it. So I do it because I'm one messy son of a bitch and I don't know how to control myself when it comes to brow pomade. So now I'm gonna outline the top as well and the bottom and they're gonna, the concealer, you'll be able to see it. It'll like meet at the end to make that point so we can cut a bitch if we need to. Cut a bitch who's talking shit. And see, it carves out the brow really nicely. But we're not done yet. We're gonna take this, like this e.l.f. like eyeshadow brush, I'm pretty sure, eyeshadow or contouring, blending brush, whatever. And we're just gonna blend outwards to the tail of the brow. 
and just blend it on. Make your life a thousand times easier. Your eyebrows will look like fantastic. And no one will know that you don't know what you're doing because I don't either. And if you do what I did and accidentally got concealer in the brow, you can always go back in, fill in a tiny, tiny bit and just repeat. Just repeating steps, that's how it's done. When you fuck up, you do it again. Practice makes perfect people. Trust me, it, like eyebrows are kind of hard and they're very hard to get the same as well. Trust me, I know, I know, it sounds crazy. A lot of you guys are my, a lot of you guys watching this video, follow me on Instagram and you know that I, I guess, am known for my eyebrows. I don't know what I'm doing, like ever. I barely ever know what I'm doing, especially when it comes to my eyebrows. If anyone tells you, that you need this much concealer for anything, they are lying to you and they are just like me and they are lying to you and they have no idea what they're doing. Just like me. So yeah, again, just sculpt out the brow, just like before. And I also like to do a tiny bit in the middle right here because again, if you did, get too much product towards the center and it's not like that kind of ombre effect that you want with the pomade you can kind of like take your brush when you're blending it and blend outwards away from the brow yada 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 towards the tail don't even repeat myself a hundred billion times i'm gonna sound like a broken record swear to god so now that the brows are kind of sharpened up cleaned up the concealer also just cleans up the brows a lot see it's like way smoother cleaned up really nice blah 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 and then we're gonna take this and kind of wipe the center with any like excess concealer. It won't leave a huge mark. It'll just get rid of whatever pomade is like towards the center. Now that we got our eyebrows out of the way, I'm going to move on to a mattifying powder foundation. Now I know I am using, I'm gonna be using a lot of the L'Oreal Infallible series. Not a ton, a ton, but like, yeah. So just so you guys know, I am not promoting anybody. It just seems like I am because I have so many L'Oreal Infallible products, but the truth is I love them. They're very cheap. I get them at Target. Um, this isn't free advertising in any way. Please don't sue me. So I'm going to be using the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Powder Foundation to get rid of any shininess, any, so like my nose, I get some shine. I get shine kind of under here where I don't want it under my eyes. I get shine on my chin. Yada yada, I don't want like an oily shine. The only time I want those to shine is if it's with highlighter, but oil is not okay. We're gonna get rid of that right now. Okay, now that we've got our pressed powder on, we are going to move on to contouring. Now with contouring, I am gonna be using my Maybelline New York Fit Me in 335 Coconut for my contour and 110 Porcelain for my highlight. So for my highlight, I'm actually gonna start with my highlight because I don't see that too often. Usually you see people contour and then highlight, but I wanna start with the highlight. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna highlight our cheekbones underneath the eyebrow. We're gonna lift our brow bone, center of the forehead, not all over it, please don't do that. You will look crazy. The chin, I like to highlight a little bit down here, not like great, you'll see what I mean. So we're gonna start off by highlighting just a little bit on our chin. Next, we're gonna make kind of like triangles underneath the eye. Yes, I know, I got some of my eyelashes. You can just wipe it off. It's not a big deal, don't worry. You'll make it through. This will also highlight the under eye to get rid of any dark circles. I know dark circles are a huge struggle. I have them all the time. I never sleep. I'll sleep when I'm dead because I wake up in the middle of the night, like now, to make YouTube videos about me doing makeup for you guys. So I'm losing sleep because I love you people. Thank you. Thank you. And because this was highly requested on my Instagram, which I will leave that in the description below. I'll leave my username. What was that? <laughs> I like it. So I'll leave that in the description below. Also, I will probably leave my Snapchat. I don't really know yet. But yeah, so this is what I'm talking about under here because my contour is gonna go through here like this. Not like a straight line through, just you'll bear with me. Bear with me, you'll see what I'm doing. My mirror, 
again is over here so if i'm constantly looking over here it's because my mirror is here next we're going to take our highlighter and we're going to go down the bridge of our nose now i 335 coconut is like the darkest color that they have for these in 110 porcelain is like the lightest color oh yeah but this is my nose highlight there we go and this is like the lightest color i don't actually recommend that i think that you should maybe do like 300 toffee and like i don't know like 150 for i don't know what that highlight color is actually honestly um but yeah i don't recommend doing like such an extreme contour because it does take a lot of blending it was kind of a mistake i made but i mean just blend it you'll live Another thing we're gonna do is I'm gonna take this and just do a tiny bit underneath, like right on my brow bone because I don't wanna fuck up my whole brow. And it's just, I'm gonna do this with a brush and I'm gonna blend the rest of it with a blending sponge or beauty blender, that's the word. And we're also gonna take this and go across the cupid's bow, just like that, just a tiny bit. And now, I'm going to take my 335 coconut and I'm going to go around and do my contour now that the highlight's on and in place. So now we're going to take, we're going to follow this part of our ear. Everybody has a different bone structure. You don't need to take your contour and go like all the way down to your lip. Do not do that. It's not okay. Unless your cheekbone knows that. We're going to sculpt out and enhance our own facial structure. So I'm starting kind of like here because my cheekbone goes through here. If you look at it, it kind of goes up through this area that's where my cheekbone is so i'm gonna follow that line my sideburns kind of end where my cheekbone is so that gives me like a good idea we're just gonna follow that little crease not all the way through that much is fine i probably shouldn't have even used that much it's kind of a lot and we're gonna just do the same thing on the other side there we go looks pretty even to me for the chin, I'm gonna kind of bring out the like not so strong chin that I have and start like from the lips and it's gonna end where my middle knuckle is. So, one there, one there. So again, this isn't really like a tutorial. This is just kind of, you guys wanted to see how I do my own makeup. And now for the forehead, I'm gonna be kind of doing just little taps across because my forehead isn't really like big a lot of like people with bigger foreheads want to like kind of minimize the size of their forehead and take it down a couple notches with their forehead so you can make this darker go farther back it kind of makes your forehead look smaller because you that like illusion now i know a lot of people say contouring is like contouring is a lie but like it's not it's just you want to enhance your features i don't see a problem with that um, for my nose, I just went down the side of the bridge, that's one side, and on the other side, I'm just gonna do the same thing. Ooh, that's a little far outwards. And we're not gonna start at the top, top of the nose, we're gonna start kind of center. And then these two are gonna, like, meet in the middle, because I kind of want to shorten my nose, if that makes any sense. Some people take their, um, low light and they go over the bridge once, like, right near the tip to kind of do that. I don't really do that. But you can. Now that I look like an episode of Botched, I am going to take my blending brush, my beauty blender, and I'm going to just pat my contour and my highlight, and I'm also going to take my bigger e.l.f. brush, and I'm going to blend in the highlight. So it's going to be kind of versatile, and I'm just going to pat it. You do not have to smear this all over your face like a crazy person. No. You just need to take it and just dab it like that. So just do that across the face. Now that the contour is blended, we're gonna move on to the highlight. Okay, so now that our contour is set and in place, whoa, what is my hair doing? Mm -mm. Now that our contour is all set and in place, we're going to set that with my L'Oreal Pro Pro spray and set, setting spray, I dropped, I dropped the cap. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna set this contour real fast. I love 
love, love, love this setting spray because it's just, it works really well. And I don't know, everything just stays on. So now I'm going to take my, while my face is kind of wet, kind of shimmery, kind of shiny, whatnot, I'm going to take my NYX Illuminator Highlighter. I actually just got this and I'm not really sure how it works. So I guess we're gonna find out now if it works really well. So I'm gonna take my big blush, big brush that I use to blend my highlight on my face and just dip it in. There's really not a lot of fallout on this. I actually really like that. And we're just gonna hit our chin. Ooh, wow, that's really nice. That's really pretty. And up here, we're gonna highlight up on the cheekbones a bit. Just like that. Yes. Ooh, this is really pretty. It's kind of like, kind of gold almost. I'm really enjoying this. Yeah, see? It's got a really nice, really nice highlight. Now I'm gonna take my pinky, go in with it hit the bridge of the nose, or the bridge, the tip of the nose, just like that, and just a little bit on the bridge. Yes, look at that. It's actually really pigmented. Look at that. Whoa. And I'm also going to take this a little bit on my clean eyeshadowy brush, that I, blending brush. I don't fucking know what this is, to be completely honest with y'all. But I'm gonna hit this highlighter and I'm gonna hit this brow bone. Yes, highlighter work. Yes, come on. We got this, we got this. This is a nice gold highlighter. It's like, oh, it's beautiful. I picked this up at Target today. I love it to death. It's so nice, so nice. And just blend the nose a little bit more than I did. I didn't blend it enough. And looks like we're all set to glow. So now that all of that's done, yeah, let's look at this highlight. Oh, you know what I forgot to do? We gotta hit this Cupid's bow. Yes. Oh, I love this highlighter. It's like, it's like gold almost. I love it. I'm gonna go take this headband out, fix my hair a little bit, and we'll check out the finished look. Okay guys, so this is it. This is the finished look. I mean, I know it's like, it's not 100% the best. Trust me, I know. It's like drugstore makeup. And I also noticed that, I don't, I think it was on this side. This side wasn't really blended that well. And I kind of did the whole like rest of the, you guys are probably staring at it looking at me like, what the fuck? This guy's got like a line across his face, yada, yada, yada. So I went ahead, I took my beauty blender, I blended it a little bit more, finished everything off. You know, just kind of blend everything together a little bit. Once you finish, everything's in place. Blend until it's perfect. I fixed my hair up a little bit. Everything's all set. So yeah, you guys can just subscribe, like this video, comment, leave me some feedback. I'm gonna leave my Instagram and most likely my Snapchat down in the description below. I'm still holding my beauty blender. <laughs> Anyways, so yeah, follow me on Instagram, add me on Snapchat, like, and comment. Um, it's kind of late, so yeah, I wanted to get this video all set and put out for you guys as soon as possible because I know on my Instagram a lot of you guys are super, super, super excited to see this. So I will see you guys next time. I'm definitely thinking about keeping this channel up, making more videos. So I will see you guys next time. I love you guys. Bye.